Hey guys, it's Brett and Brad. We're your independent scent C consultants. I said it right this time. We're here with our first sniffs of the Harvest 2023 collection bars and the new fall winter. Oh, excuse me. The new fall winter 2023 catalog bars. We got them in today. We got all the stuff in here. This is everything right here on this table that we got in. I got the our business supplies and then we got the bars. So I'll just show you real quick the business supplies and then I'll put those to the side. So we got our catalogs. We got 20 catalogs here. That's the new fall winter 2023 catalog. It's so pretty and I already did a, I did a walkthrough uh, video yesterday. So check that out if you haven't seen it. I walked through the catalog on uh, the digital online. Talk about everything in there. So we got those. Got some showcase brochures. We use these to put into our Happy Mail. Sometimes we'll put catalogs, but usually we just save the catalogs for like our local customers. But then we do send them out to customers at first, but then like like right the first of the season, then afterwards we just kind of, after that we kind of use the showcase brochures mm -hmm. for the rest of the season. And then we have, a, this was the bundle uh, kit you get for the new season, the new season kit. And it has these little product list. This just is a sheet that shows all the products. It's just one sheet, it's front, and then it's got on the back. It just lists all the products. Showbase brochure is kind of the same, but it's got pages and it shows a little bit more than the product sheet does. Then we got our testers. These are our transition testers. So these are all the things that weren't in the last spring and summer catalog. So it, all the things that weren't in the spring and summer catalog are in these testers. Mm -hmm. And then we have these scented stickers. These are for the 10 new fall and winter fragrances. They have scented stickers for each of those. There's 72 stickers of each scent. So we use those to send out with, for our Happy Meal as well. And like when people we send out a catalog or whatever, we'll stick the little sheet that's got the stickers of all the new fragrances on there. These scented stickers so they can smell the new scents. Uh, I got, these are just felts. I got two things of felts. That didn't come with the the uh, fall winter kit. I just got those separate. Because I'll I was, be glad to get rid of the felts and do real samples. I was running low. Well, yeah, we can yeah, for the new customers. In the winter. For the scent of the month, we still do felts because it's yeah. easier to put that in one envelope without having to pay a lot of postage for the scent of the month. But like for our new customers, when we send out new packages for different things like that, we can go back to sending some wax out. Then we got the Harvest brochures, Harvest collection brochures. I got quite a bit of those because I like putting those in catalogs and all kinds of things. So got those brochures. And then we got the rest here is just the bars here that we're gonna go over here in just a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. So first up, let's, I think we're gonna do the Harvest Collection first. So this is the Harvest Bars right here. I got two sets of the Harvest Collection. And it comes with this cute little bag. So let's take the bag out and see what it looks like. It's cutesy. Yeah. As consultants, we were able to purchase these early, almost like a month early. So that's a perk if you want to become a consultant if you want to get these early become a consultant you can get these early we could get two sets of these and we can only get one set of the other bars so these are um, it's $25 for the five bars and the bag you can also get them separately when they come on sale in September you can buy them six dollars each or you can get the bundle of five which makes them five dollars each plus you get the cute little bag it says no tricks just treats on the bag there it says scentsy so yeah, and it's and got a little ghost and a cobweb yeah, not spider web. Side. Not cobweb, spider web. Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't know that was on there. Is that on the side? Isn't that cute? I never saw that in anybody's videos or pictures or anything. I didn't know that she had that on the side. It's cute. Super cute. Yeah. All the Halloween pictures. Yeah. Got your oh, it's got a little witch's hat and a ghost, pumpkin, Cobbles, spider web, candy. cat, black cat. That's really cute. So it's just a cute little bitty bag. You can put your bars in there or you could just put whatever in there. It's a, it's a little yeah. bag, cute little bag. So, all right, now we're gonna go over the bars here. There's five different scents. Let me pull, get my phone so I can pull up the notes here. Where's my phone? Buried it under stuff, there it is. It's buried under all our stuff here. Okay, so 
I have it pulled up here. So first up we have cashmere leaves is first. And the notes on this are apple, falling leaves, and cashmere spice. Okay. A little light on the top. I get a spice though. You do get spice. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Oh, on the bottom you can really get. I think kind of like cashmere. Maybe. Yeah, I get spice and cashmere, kind of cashmere, falling leaves. Uh, I mean, you know the leaves, like that leaves, that crunchy yeah. leaves kind of smell. It's kind of in there, but I guess it is a cashmere. There's a little note in here that I'm, maybe is it the apple? There's kind of a note that's different here that I'm not, I'm not, not quite placing. It's good though. Just a touch of spice, not real, yeah. real spicy. Mm -mm. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it's different. It's different. I like it. It's not my favorite so far, but like, it's nice. It's just kind of different. I'm not sure what, I don't know if there's that cashmere in there with the apple and spice. It's different. Yeah. We'll see how that does though. It's, it's pretty good. It's nice. We'll see how it does warm me. All right, next is Dutch apple blend, uh, touch apple bread. I'm excited about this one because I love bakery. Mm. This is fresh sliced apple, warm cinnamon, rolled oats, and brown sugar. Okay, I get the apple. Mm -hmm. and it smells good. Yeah. Oh yeah. The That's bottom. nice. It's very apple. I really get that yes. apple. That tart apple is really in there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else. Warm cinnamon. Little. It's not a lot of cinnamon. Maybe just a just a touch of the cinnamon. Yeah. De definitely apple. Rolled oats and brown sugar. Uh, I don't know about. That uh, maybe mm, I don't know about the rolled oats. I'm not really picking that up. Yeah. And I don't know about the brown sugar. So there could be a hint yeah. of brown sugar. Just maybe hit the brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon. I get well, definitely the apple. Maybe probably apple, cinnamon, and a touch of brown sugar. I'm not about sure about the oats. Um. Uh, yeah. It smells good. It's very tart-like. So yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Next is Fall Into Love. And this is Fresh Orange Peel, Cool Eucalyptus, and Sweet Balsam. So we've already smelled this. This came in the whip box. We just got the whip box yesterday and we had this in the whip box, so we've already smelled it. Let's see if it smells the same. Yeah, it smells the same. I really like this one. I do I, too. You get the eucalyptus, but it's not it's very it, fall with I think. the balsam. Yeah, it is fall though because it's not mm. the balsam isn't really like a Christmas tree balsam. It's not like a real uh, mm -hmm. wintry it's very, holiday. Yeah, it's very fall. It's the eucalyptus, yeah. I think, and that orange. Mm -hmm. There is a touch of that orange pill. Yeah. Just a little bit with that eucalyptus, but if that because that orange pill and eucalyptus gives it fall vibe with that balsam. It smells real good. What was it? Uh, what was the one? Wild for. Was it Wild for Fall last year? That was in the holiday or harvest collection. And that smelled very wintry. That smelled way winter, more wintry than this mm -hmm. does. This definitely smells more fall like. Mm -hmm. Let me smell the bottom because on the on a, the whip box I smelled mothballs on the bottom when I first did it. Why can I not? How do you get those out so easily? It's because he is a mothball. Get that out of there. Why am I ever going to get those out tonight? God, it's hard to get out right now. They're stuck in there good. For some reason, when I first open them, it, I get mothballs. I swear, though, let me smell this one. This is the bar here we have from. This was the one from yesterday in the, in the um, with box. With box, I was smelling it a little later last night, this morning, and I didn't get the mothballs. Yeah, not as much. It's still a hint of it there. It's probably just me. I don't know some about. I don't know why I picked that up. When they're freshly opened, though, I really get that. I don't know what it is, but it's good still. So I, th I don't think it'll be that way when it warming, so don't do it. It's probably just me. All right, next up we have 
forever fall. And this is baked pumpkin, cinnamon stick, and brown sugar. Yes, please, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please, and yes, please. I love all those three notes. Yeah, that's good. It's pumpkin-y. It is, and that's all right by me. I wonder there's something different in there. On the it's, bottom, there's, yeah. What is that? It's like... I think, okay, what am I smelling? I'm smelling, I got cinnamon brown sugar kind of, but like. Top really pumpkin-y. The top is more pumpkin-y, your typical, what you would think would bake pumpkin and cinnamon stick and brown sugar on the bottom. It's like, oh, that almost smells like there's something else in there. Like a. No, it smells different. A sweetness, like a, almost like a fruit or something. It smells good, but. I don't know what it is on the, it's not your typical pumpkin cinnamon stick brown sugar on the bottom. There's something else on the bottom yeah. coming off. Yeah. Like a tart almost sweetness, fruity tart thing going on in there. Yeah. That's weird on the bottom like smells it definitely good, though. Yeah. We'll be interested to see how that comes across. I'd like to see like more detailed notes. Like there's always more notes than what they say, but they never they'll only list the minimum notes. I'd like to see what else might be in there, because there's something else going on on the bottom of that one. Ooh, this one this sounds really good. White Pumpkin and Driftwood is the last one. White Pumpkin, Driftwood, White Cardamom, and Warm Solar Amber. Hmm. I've heard this is really good. Ooh, yeah, I would say. That is really nice. Ain't that nice. That is, that is nice. Oh, yeah. You get all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. This, oh, yeah. reminds, this me. reminds me of a nice little campfire. It's not yeah, smoky was... or anything, but it just reminds me of a nice little campfire setting out, just enjoying the fresh fall air. I was going to say that it kind of reminds me of around the campfire-ish. It's, it's kind of in that vein. It's got, I think it's that driftwood. It's probably the driftwood warm solar amber. I don't know what solar amber is. Alexa, what is solar amber? From crystalsalchemy.com. Amber has been known as crystallized sunlight because it holds the energy of the sun. Hmm, I don't know. It smells really good. So yeah, I, 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 but I really like that pumpkin and that's, I think the cardamom gives it that spice, that good spice. I love cardamom. So we put that in there with the pumpkin, and then the driftwood is give that woodsy spiciness from the cardamom, and then the woodsiness from the driftwood, and then pumpkin has spice. Yeah, And then really amber good. is really nice, really good blend. Oh gosh, that's really good. I like it. Yeah. That's my favorite out of all those five. So out of those five, what were your favorite thing? Um, White pumpkin drifter was mine for sure, for sure. I'll probably go with, yeah. The white pumpkin driftwood. Um, I like that Dutch apple pie. It's really tart, very tart. And then my second would be fall into fall into love. Um, and then probably forever fall. Yeah, and then Dutch apple bread, and then cashmere, cashmere leaves. leaves. Okay, yeah. My favorite is a white pumpkin and driftwood. My second favorite, I think, is Forever Fall. I like that one, I like that one. And then I think Dutch apple pie. Yeah. And then, um, probably fall, fall into love. As long as it doesn't have that, uh, my balls when it melts. I like the top of these. And then um, cashmere leaves, I think, after that. I don't know. That's grown on me, the cashmere leaves. Maybe cashmere leaves. Yeah, I think I'll keep it that way. Yeah. So we'll see how they do when they warm. So that's those. Get those out of the way. And then we have... Ugh. This is from the Harvest Collection as well. This is the Disney bar. The Frightfully Delightful... Disney bar. 
So they also have a warmer that looks just like the pumpkin, Disney, the Mickey pumpkin on the front there. They have a full size warmer that looks just like that pumpkin there. If you saw my video where I walked through the Harvest Collection walkthrough, I showed that in the catalog in the Harvest brochure here. So for that warmer, I think it's gonna go sell. We sell a lot of uh, Disney. Disney stuff, so I'm sure that warmer's gonna be really popular. It, it may sell out, I think. All right, so let me find the notes here for that. We have Extraordinary Golden Pumpkin Illuminated with Bright Harvest Peach and Delightful Touches of Whipped Vanilla and Brown Sugar Delivers the Thrill of the Season. So we have a lot of brown sugar going on. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious about that peach. I really don't get much on the top. Mm, I get pumpkin and stuff. It's good on the top. I like it. Okay, now the bottom. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That reminds me of something. Mm, I like it. So I get, I get the pumpkin for sure. I get a little bit of peach. It's not a whole lot of peach, because I was worried about that. It's just a touch of peach in there. It reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it reminds me of. Yeah. Yeah. And then I do get vanilla, and I get um, brown sugar. Not a lot of vanilla, a little bit, but I get brown sugar in there with the pumpkin. It smells really good. I think I kind of like that blend of that. Good fall one again. That. Peach is nice in there with that pumpkin. I wasn't for sure about it, but it's nice. It blends well with that pumpkin and the brown sugar, and vanilla. Yeah, I like that. It's really good. Okay. And then let's do this one first, real quick here, too. I got this before we do the 10 new uh, fall winter catalog ones. This is the Haunted Mansion three thumbs up bar. This came out with the Haunted Mansion warmer a few weeks ago. We didn't get the warmer, but I wanted to get the bar because. The notes sounded really good. It sounds like I really like this bar. It sounds right up my alley and I've heard it's good, so I wanted to get it, try it out. So the Haunted Mansion three thumbs up Sensi Bar is hitch a ride through creaky corridors filled with eerie allspice, haunting pumpkin, and ghostly cinnamon, all summoning the spirit of sparkling ginger. So we have allspice, pumpkin, cinnamon, and ginger. I love all those. Some people said this is like bread. They said it smells, smells like baked bread or something. We only got one bar of this. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I smell ginger in that. I love ginger. Ooh, I like it. It smells really good. Mm. But I don't think it really smells like bread. Yeah, I don't know. I could see where they might be getting that a little bit. I can get like a, ginger I get, sure in there. if anything, it's like a spicy pumpkin -y bread or something. It's, yeah, because I do get that pumpkin and I get the ginger, like you said. I get that ginger and pumpkin. Allspice, yeah, I can get that as spicy. And I love allspice and ginger. Mm -hmm. So I get that more. There's not, it's not like really cinnamon -y and nutmeg. It's not like cinnamon and nutmeg. It's more like allspice and ginger. Or it has cinnamon, sorry. It does have cinnamon. Uh, but I don't get a super strong cinnamon. I get more like the allspice and ginger over the cinnamon. But it is in there, cinnamon. And then pumpkin. But, oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, some people thought it smelled like... It's not like... Uh, to me, I don't think it's anything like French baguette from Bad and the Body Works or like fresh baked bread from Green Glory. It's, I, don't, I don't know if that's what they would say it smelled like, but I don't get that at all. I, I can maybe, maybe a little bit, I can see where they're coming from, but if if anything, it would be like a spicy pumpkin bread or something. Yeah, I Because there's maybe a little bit of bakery quality in there. Okay, the more I smell it, the more I see where maybe they were thinking bread-like, but it's definitely got the spice and pumpkin and stuff in there, so we'll see how that does. So that's the three thumbs up. Can we give three thumbs up? One, two, three. Okay. And now we have the 10 new fall winter catalog scents. They're in the catalog. So the harvest bars, they will be available just through the harvest collection, which will be probably September and October. Because then November, the when holiday collection will probably come out. So they'll only probably be able, be available for two months. The, these catalog bars will be in the catalog all season long. September through the end of February. So, let's see here. 
First up, we have cranberry and cardamom. Right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. So we have another cardamom. Bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. How do you say cardamom? Do you say cardamom or cardamom? 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 I say cardamom. Cardamom, but some people say cardamom. Smells kind of cherry. It's got cherry. Bold cherry, white cranberry, and cardamom. Warm cardamom. Maybe cranberry on the bottom? Yeah. We'll take turns sniffing first since we only got one bar of all these. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. God, that's good. I really like that one. Mm-hmm, smells good, don't it? Dude, that's a really good cherry. Though. That cranberry mixed with that, that says white cranberry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love that blend of that cranberry and cherry. And that little bit of cardamom. Ooh, mm -hmm. gosh, I really like this one. Smells good. That's really good. This is almost my favorite. So far, ooh, I don't that white pumpkin driftwood that's tied with that. God, that's really good. I really like that one. That's nice. Love that one. And then dashing. Dashing. Irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies. Vanilla, mahogany, and fresh night skies. Not the biggest fan of mahogany, so I'm worried about this one. But the vanilla might cut down that mahogany. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, it's the vanilla is, is in there for sure, and it's cut cutting the mahogany down a little bit, but I can still smell it. Let me get it out of there. Oh yeah, that's good. This is giving me frosted vanilla vibes from last year. It, it reminds me of that a little bit, probably because it's the vanilla and creamy mahogany. It's definitely creamy mahogany. Fresh night skies. Yeah, it, it is. It's got freshness. So it's kind of like uh, frosted vanilla from last year with like a freshness to it. And like mahogany and freshness mixed in there. Almost maybe a little bit of like Velvet Moon too. Maybe a cross between Velvet Moon and Frosted Vanilla ish. But yeah, mahogany, that's nice. I like that. I think it's Give good. me that, mister. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I smell of mahogany. Pretty what good. It okay, our battery stopped, so. Or the camera shut off, so hopefully I don't know where this cut off. Hopefully you you got this all dashing. It, irresistible vanilla, creamy mahogany, and fresh nice guys. It's really good. Yeah. We really like it. I definitely get that creaminess. The creamy vanilla cuts down on the mahogany. Ooh, it's fresh. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, next up. Fall feeling. Fall feeling is fresh blood orange. And sugared cranberry cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfect crisp day. Sounds really good. I love anything with clove usually. Oh, you can smell the clove. Oh, good. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, I don't Moth like the bottom. Mothballs. I don't like the bottom. The top's way better. Okay, yeah, it's... I get the... Spicy. Clove, yeah, clove. I almost you get smell ginger. Really I well. smell ginger like. Uh, maybe it's that blood orange. Blood orange and clove. Cranberry and ginger. Yeah, I can't, I can't get all that, I think. Let me smell the bottom. Oh, it's. You don't like the bottom? Mm -mm. It smells Christmas tree like to me on the bottom. I think it's no. that juniper. The juniper sprigs. Mm -mm. I get like Christmas vibes on the bottom. The hall, it smells. I really get that juniper on the bottom. It's giving me like Christmas tree vibes on the bottom, mm -mm. but yet, kind of, but then also like, uh, what is it? Um, the, uh, oh gosh, from the, bring back my bar. I have a bar. It's the, uh, hold on, I keep smelling. I have it right here. I'm not going to smell the bottom. It's right here. Oh, okay. painted leaves, that's it. I have it right here. Hold on. Yeah, no, I don't like the bottom at all. It's giving me painted leaves vibes as well. 
Painted leaves have a strong astringent, like, kind of a... <sighs> eucalyptus -y. Does it smell similar to that to you, you think? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe not, That really. smells way better. Let me smell Ugh. it. God, yeah, I don't like the smell of the bottom of that. Okay, no, no, no. I know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of leaves. Leaves from Bath and Body Works. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, yeah. Very similar leaves from Bath and Body Works. Okay, next. On the bottom. And, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. So if you like leaves from Bath and Body Works, that's what it smells like on the bottom. Just hit me. Okay. I gotta go to work, so I'm trying to hurry. You're rushing us. Yes. Okay, Frosted Cedar is next. Red Delicious Apple adorns towering white cedar in a blanket of creamy vanilla. So, by the way, Painted Leaves was more like um, sweater weather, but this fall feeling is like a leaves from Bath & Body Works. Okay, Frosty Cedar. Uh, we did Frosted Cedar. You gave me the wrong one. Frosty Cedar. There's two frosties. I just held up the we got wrong frost, one. frosty cedar and frosty air. I held up the wrong one. So yeah, that's... You held up the wrong frosted. Oh, well, there's frosted and frosty. So we're on frosted cedar. Yeah. You gave me Sorry. frosty instead My of frosted. So the red delicious apple adorns towering white cedar and a blanket of creamy vanilla. So apple, cedar, and vanilla. Mmm. Is that a write up? Write up. Yeah, do I get wrote up? Give you the wrong one? Yep. That's nice. Uh, yeah, a apple, vanilla, cedar, yeah, I'd agree. I get apple, I definitely get the cedar. Apple, apple and vanilla. Right it's nice. Yeah, I like that, it's pretty nice. It's slightly cologne a little bit in there. I don't know if that cedar is giving me a slight bit of a cologne vibe. Ooh, it's different, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Maybe you get cedar in it. But that's pretty much all I get, really. You don't get the get apple cedar. or vanilla? I don't know, uh-uh. No. Just cedar? Mm -hmm. More than cedar there. I smell that man. I get the apple. And the creamy vanilla mix that cedar. Mm, the more I smell, the more I like that one. But it's got a little touch of cologne vibe in there. So this is the correct one, Frosty Air. <clears throat> Frosty Air. Sweet citrus and lily of the valley. Stay fresh in a flurry of frosty air. So I've heard what people say this smells like. We'll see if Brad thinks it smells the same. It smells like clean linen. Yep, <laughs> that's what everybody says. Everybody's been saying it smells like laundry. Yep. Laundry scent, like, uh. But it smells really good. But that, I love the clean smell, clean air smell. It's probably the lily of the valley in there that's giving that laundry. You should be proud of me because that's a scent, isn't it? What? That I said what did you just that say? it smelled like. What did you just say, the laundry? Yeah. Clean mm -hmm. linen, isn't that a scent? Uh, no. It's oh. the uh, clean breeze oh, and then breeze. clothesline. Whatever. Clothesline and clean breeze. You're close. Mm, it smells so good. I love it. It's citry. Citrusy? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely laundry-like. Mm, I don't know what the bottom though. I really like it. It's good like bathroom, laundry scent. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess citrus frosty air. Maybe they're thinking it's winter because of frosty air. The bottom. I like the top there on the bottom, but I don't miss. Yeah, I don't know. It, I'm not sure about this. It's kind of nice, but yeah, I don't know. The bottom made me kind of unsure. I guess slowly the valley, the floral, and then that citrus. I think it's the citrus that's throwing me off because I don't know if there's usually citrus. There's lily the valley, floral, and laundry, but like I don't know about citrus laundry normally. Maybe that's what's kind of weird to me. I don't know. We'll see. It's good though. Not bad. Frosty air. Okay, next. Golden, Golden garland. garland. Forest pine needles intertwined with marigold petals, sparkling orange twist, and a touch of golden musk. So we have 
pine needles, marigold petals, orange twist, and musk. And this is fall, very fall like. Ooh, I like it. Definitely the pine needles and orange. I get orange in there and musk. Marigold petals, I guess, just floral. Maybe it kind of reminds me of like a one of those fall florals, or kind of like a uh, what's that fall floral? The mums, like a mum or one of those kind of a fall floral scents. It reminds me of like a fall floral. I like that one. That's really nice. Because you get the florals and then the pine, but then you get like yeah. an orange twist. Musk, it's got fall vibes, but it's got floral vibes. I get pine too. Yeah. I definitely get pine in this. Is there yeah. pine in it? Yeah. Pine needles. And then marigold pillars. And orange twist musk. I like that. Yeah, one. I like it. I like that one. That's I very, like anything with pine though. That's unique, I think. Okay, next is make, make me, me snooker snooker doodle. doodle. <sighs> very curious about this one. It is homemade cookie dough sweetened mm. with Sweetened with brown sugar and vanilla bean, rolled in sugared cinnamon, and baked to perfection. So we got brown sugar again. Ooh wee. Brown sugar for sure. Mm, I think I smell from here. Maybe a little cinnamon. It has a spice smell to it, but brown sugar and a spice. It's a really good fall bakery. Yeah, it's in the bakery too. Yeah, it's really good. Mmm. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I get. It. This is giving me. I'm getting like. So I get like. I forget the brown sugar cinnamon. I get that. And then uh, vanilla. Uh, that's it, right? It says cookie dough. Sweet. And then the highlights brown sugar, vanilla bean, and cinnamon. With cookie dough. Yes, I get that, but it's I, I get pumpkin for some reason. I same thing happened to me when I warmed we warmed the uh, frosted cinnamon roll. This mm -hmm. is upcoming September cinnamon month we got in the whip box. That's amazing, by the way. It's amazing. It smells really good, melting. Yes, it's melting. He didn't like it on cold. I liked it on cold, but he he liked it warming though. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Such a good performer. So strong and amazing. Not exactly like a cinnamon roll, but it reminds me. It's kind of like pumpkin cinnamon swirl from Scentsy. But it's frosted cinnamon, but but it's it's good. It, it, I like it. But that it reminds me of pumpkin. This reminds me of pumpkin scent too. One of those pumpkin scents that's not a lot of pumpkin in it. Because a lot of these pumpkin scents will have the nutmeg, the cinnamon, all that shit. Not not nutmeg in this, but it's got cinnamon, brown sugar, vanilla bean. But it, it comes off like a cinnamon, like a pumpkin scent, because it's got like pumpkin spices in there. That makes sense. It reminds me of a lot of those scents that are pumpkin scents. So Midnight so, Mahogany. I don't know if it reminds me exactly like a snickerdoodle cookie, but it, it reminds me of like a pumpkin spice type of scent. <laughs> Sorry, I got a lot to say about this. I don't know, I get like a pumpkin type of scent with that. Not necessarily pumpkin in there, but like one of those type of scents that have, say they're pumpkin, but they're not really pumpkin. Does that make sense to everybody? There's so many scents out there that are pumpkin scents, but they don't really have a lot of pumpkin in them. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Okay. Midnight Mahogany. Midnight Mahogany is juicy black plum and cinnamon leaf brighten up dark mahogany on a secluded moonlight stroll. So we'll see how this mahogany is. Mm, this is, this is nice. This is giving me like, I get like almost leathery suede kind of a thing going on here. Uh, I guess it's mahogany. I'm getting like, uh, not necessarily leather, but like a suede, I guess. Suede, touch of leather, suede, slight leather. I, um, I don't know about the plum. I get mahogany, I guess, is what I'm smelling, but it's coming off kind of suede leather. I don't know if that cinnamon mix from mahogany is making me come, come off suede leather. Kind of clony a little bit, but yet fall. That's, that's good. Mm, I like another marshmallow. 
Mm. I don't get your typical mahogany that I'm used to. That's kind of spicy. That's nice. I like that. That is like mahogany. Yeah, this hair in my mustache is sticking out. It's, I can see it. You ever get that? Like a hair sticking mm -hmm. out? I'm trying to get to lay down. I can see it in the corner of my eye. Maybe cinnamon and mahogany. I smell a lot. Yeah, I think it's the cinnamon and mahogany. It's, it's coming off kind of suede, slight leatherish, like kind of maybe mm -hmm. just a touch. I like it. All right, next up, ooh, I'm excited about this one. This is the one I was most excited for: the Palo Santo and cinnamon. I love Palo Santo. Uh, Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot, accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. So a lot of people say they don't care for Sensi's Palo Santo, which has been out before, but I've never had it. But they don't like it. I like. I've never had Sensi's Palo Santo, but I've had Bath and Body Works Palo Santo candle, and I loved it. So that's why I'm excited about it. I love the spicy Palo Santo scents. So we have that. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Clove leaf and cinnamon and Palo Santo and bergamot. Hopefully it's not too cloney or anything. It's cloney. Oh. It's cloney, but it smells good. It's not like a, a strong cloney smell. Okay. I'm nervous. It's not a real strong cloney smell. No, it's not. It smells it's really nice. good. I really like it. Yeah, it is nice. So, yeah, Palo Santo, that clove of cinnamon is in there. Uh, bergamot, yeah. It's nice. I don't love it quite as much as I thought I was going to, but I do like it. It's. I think it's just the mixture of that Palo Santo and the bergamot, but the clove and cinnamon. It just is kind of all kinds of crazy... It's a mixture that's just kind of like different. There's a, I hate to even say this. There's a slight, slight touch of a B.O. note in here. Do you get that? Just an ever slight touch of a B.O. Mm -hmm. No. No. I, I don't really get it now, but I did for just a second there. It's weird. It's like I smell bergamot for sure in there, which you hate. You don't hate. hate no, I don't hate it. I just it. it's no. It just that's mahogany. That's teak oh. mahogany and teakwood and all that stuff. But yeah, bergamot usually just makes a clone. There's something in there that's just clashing a little bit. Maybe that's making it's making it. It was giving me some kind of like bo ish vibe, but not not exactly. Don't get scared by that. It's not really bo, -y, but. If something's clashing, it's just, I don't know. I'm just, I like it. I just thought I'd like it a little bit better, but I do like it. If that, I'm just, yeah. I'm not sure about that one. We'll see. Red Current Reef. Red currant and winter berries spice up interwoven evergreen and sandalwood branches. Red currant berries and evergreen. Yeah, Sandal. I get the berries. Open that up for me. Yeah, that one's really stuck. Yeah, they're really good in there. They're in there really good this time. Dang. Kind of smushed it, but it all melts the same. Yeah, this was nice. Um, red berries, and I do get the current. Uh, evergreen, a little bit. And sandalwood. Yeah, I kind of get all that a little bit. It's, it has that evergreen, but it's not. It's again, it's not Christmassy. It's more fall because of that uh, current and berries. It has winter berries, but actually I think it's supposed to be winter because it has winter berries and evergreen, so it's probably supposed to be winter. I don't know why I meant. I meant winter, not fall, actually. But it kind of... No, it's probably more winter. Sandalwood, yeah, evergreen, current. Yeah, it's more winter. It's a touch of spiciness. I don't know if that's sandalwood. Just a touch. No, it's good. I like that one. It's nice. It's probably the current. Well, mm. currants are berries and stuff too. I don't this know. This one's really berry. 
Yeah, it is berry. Well, currant has berries on it, and then you got winter berries as well. And then I really like it. Evergreen, the sandalwood. I don't know why I was getting some spice. It's not really spice, but no, I is. get spice. Yeah, I don't know what I'm getting spice from necessarily, but really berry though. I can smell berries. Yeah, for sure. Berry, berry. I like it. Yeah, I like that too. Okay, so out of these ten, what's they're, I mean, what do you do? You have any top picks? Now we're gonna mm, rate them one to ten, but not like, really. Uh, that's my favorite. Oh, I know what my favorite was. That was that first one. Or, I liked all of them except for that one. The very first, first one was my favorite. What was that first one? The uh, where's that one that I didn't really like? Oh, the cranberry and cardamom. Yes, cranberry and cardamom is my favorite. I really like that one. Who got I like that one? And that cherry in there? Oh, that I like that one. You didn't like, oh gosh, there's so many I can't remember. Was it Frosted Cedar? No, 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 yeah. Golden Garland, I think it was Golden Garland. Let me see. Was it, gold? it was Golden Garland, I think, yeah. You didn't like that one? Yeah, <laughs> that's the, the bottom one. of that. Yeah, that, I like it though. It reminds me of the leaves. Like, oh, it's good, I like it. It's one of those kind of leaves, smell. So. Oh no, it was this one. Mm. I don't know, this one smells weird to me now. Which one's that? The fall, fall feeling. These are all kind of a... Yeah, I don't know. They're... They're pretty similar, really. Some of them are a little, so I said they kind of blend together a little bit. I, none of them like stand out like, oh, I remember that, I remember that. I kind of get them mixed up a little bit. I'm like, now what was this and what was that? I'm feeling like I can't rem I'm getting them all mixed up for some reason. Really bad this time. I feel like they're really similar. A lot of them are in the same vein. Mm -hmm. They are kind of. Yeah. Oh, it was this one. This is the, oh, yeah. the fall feeling. Yeah, fall feeling was the one that was like leaves. Not the golden garden. I'm getting, see, I'm getting all the mixed frosted up. cedar would probably be my yeah. my all time favorite out of them. I really like that one, the frosted cedar. Yeah, that's nice. Dude, that is really nice. I do like that frosted cedar. I did like the uh, dashing. Dashing was really good too. Oh yeah, the uh, dashing that was good. Remember that frosted cedar. Oh yeah. Frosty here, I just don't know about that citrus with that laundry. It's, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, that Palo Santo is cinnamon. I'm just... I'm just quite unsure about that one. No, but yeah, red currant wreath was good. Yeah, good. Make me snickerdoodle. Hmm. I, get pump I get a pumpkin scent out of that, make me snickerdoodle. Do you get pumpkin out of that? I get like a pumpkin. A pumpkin, non-pumpkin scent that's supposed to be pumpkin, but it actually isn't. Ooh, I do like that mint mahogany though. That's nice. Okay, yeah, they're all pretty good. I mean, but my favorite was the cranberry and cardamom. Did you have a favorite? You didn't really have. Yeah. Oh, that one. The frosted cedar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. I like them. There's none I absolutely just didn't like. There was some I was a little, some I was a little bit sure about, but they're pretty good. Some they're just kind of all in the same kind of a separate like make me snicker. There's a couple that aren't, and then the laundry one. But all the other other ones, a lot of them are kind of in the same type of vein. But yeah. All right, so that's our first sniffs, and um, we'll start warming them and try to do some warm reviews. There's quite a bit here. We got 15, 16 bars to do, so. Um, but we'll start warming them and let you know in our warm review videos. All right, so thanks for watching. Our website is listed below. These will all be available come September 1st. And comment below, if, let us know if you want a catalog. We can send you out a catalog for ours for sure. Um, and some scented stickers if you would like. Just let us know in the comments below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, y'all.